gathered at the Kiwanis Club of Santa Fe. Uh, and on behalf of the Kiwanis Club of Santa Fe, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you to the burning of the 95th Will Schuster Sazobra. I deeply appreciate each and every one of you that have come out here and given us your money to, to benefit the children of Santa Fe. Thank you. You help us make Santa Fe a better place. And with that, I want to thank a few people who have been super special to me. Ray, he's awesome. And I can't say enough about him. Otto, you're the best. Tanya, Davia, John, Ron. You guys, thank you for helping out. This was their very first show. And they are helping keep the place safe. So without further ado, I would like to introduce to you the mayor of Santa Fe, Alan Weber.
organizers of the burning of Zizobra are already looking forward to next year after last night's record-breaking attendance. Here's News 13's Jeannie Nguyen to break it down for us. Jeannie. Jackie, you might remember there were a lot of issues last year with people missing the show because of a backlog of bag checks at the entrance and poor weather. But the Zizobra event chairman tells me it was a different story last night. We had 63,993 folks last night. That does not include law enforcement, but it does include all of our volunteers. Raymond Sandoval says about 1,700 more people sh than last year showed up to watch Old Man Gloom at Santa Fe's Fort Mace Mark. Fort Marcy Park. He says there were no problems at the entrance gates after they made a few changes to what people could bring into the park. Last year, the long lines caused many people to miss the show, and the Kiwanis Club had to give refunds. Sandoval says the main issue they ran into last night was windy weather that caused a slight hiccup during Old Man Gloom's final moments. We did an autopsy of the Zobra's remains last night. Uh, we figured out that uh, the wind had broken one of the the controllers inside the eyes and so we weren't able to light both eyes. Sandoval says for next year they will try and make Old Man Gloom more resistant to any potential weather issues. As for public safety, event officials says there were no arrests or traffic problems during last night's burn. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks Jeannie. Next year's event is planned for September 4th and will set Old Man Gloom in the 1980s. You know, guys, he went up in flames super fast. It's something I've never seen before. It was amazing to watch. Uh, but people, they started to leave after the burning, but there are still hundreds of people on the infield because the party is still going on. They waited all day to watch him burn. There was good weather, a packed field, and it was all perfect to watch Old Man Gloom go up in flames. 95 years. It's not that packed yet, but it's going to get there. A tradition that serves many generations. Once when I was probably in the sixth grade, and then all of my high school years and every year since. The food, the music, Make it all now come. the fireworks, and of course, the old man himself, Zazobra, this year representing the 70s. I graduated in the 70s, 77. And I lived in Santa Fe all my life, and so they're playing the music that I grew up with. Zizobra takes on the heat every year, whether he likes it or not. I want to see him burn. Burning away all your glooms and bad vibes. I met the man behind the voice. He's been doing this for 21 years. I enjoy it. I have fun with it. Um, uh, it's... Um, it's fun. He says the Zobra feeds off the crowd, and this one is pumped. I try to make it as lifelike and as real as possible. The crowd is really pumped up, you know. I will, I'll react to that. Well, everyone feels good. We feel good. It's like a weight was lifted off of our shoulders watching the Zobra burn all your glooms away. And it is still a party with the 70s music going on right now. So we're just going to continue to watch people as they party on the infield and get ready to leave. I'm live in Santa Fe. Shelly like it. KOET Action 7. The 95th annual burning of Zazobra is going on tonight. There were a lot of crowd control problems at last year's event. Officials hope to resolve it this time around. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live at Fort Marcy Park with what to expect. Rachel? Jessica, people have been shuffling in little by little, but last year, about 1,500 people couldn't get here because of problems at the gate. Now, the Zobra officials say last year was the perfect storm to fit in with Old Man Gloom's terrible vibe. The crowds last year battled with weather problems, which caused delays for the show, and people were stalled at the entry gates because there was a backlog of backpack checks. It got so bad, people tried to storm through the gates. So officials had to cut off a huge chunk of people from getting inside. But this year, they feel confident they won't happen again because they're asking people to not bring a backpack. Number one is don't bring a backpack. Please, please, please. Right? You're only going to be here with us for a couple of hours, four hours. So please just plan accordingly. Number two, we do understand that as, as New Mexicans, food's huge to our culture. So if you do want to bring in food, that's allowable, but it needs to be in a clear plastic bag. 
But for people who don't know much about Old Man Gloom, people stuff a variety of things like wedding dresses, tax receipts, and this year, a whole lot of Santa Fe police reports. All things some people consider bad and evil to purge and light Old Man Gloom on fire. And Jessica, this year's theme is the 70s, so Old Man Gloom is dressed up like John Travolta's iconic outfit in Saturday Night Fever. Back okay. to you. Thank you, Rachel. Obviously a lot of fun out there. Those 1,500 people got free tickets to this year's show. The crowd is expected to be more than 60,000 people, and the burning starts around 930. Tens of thousands were crammed into Fort Marcy Park this evening in Santa Fe to watch a giant marionette go up in flames. Of course, it's all part of the tradition of Sosobra. News 13's Rachel Knapp is live tonight at Fort Marcy Park for that burning. Rachel? Dean, it was incredible. Old Man Gloom is no more for 2019, and the crowds were cheering on the burning, and for good reason. It's one of Santa Fe's biggest shows. The burning of Zozobra draws more than 60,000 people. Because last year, I thought it was really cool. People stuff Old Man Gloom, the 50-foot marionette, with evil items, like divorce papers, court documents, even police reports, and items that are very personal. I put things for my daughter who was sick at the time. One daughter who had cancer. I did write something this year and it was just like my worries for like the new coming year. And others had some interesting ideas about what they would put inside the evil marionette. The dog died yesterday, so that was a sad one for my son. So that would probably go in because that's a, a gloomy thing. Olives. Olives. It's all part of the 95 years of tradition. And this year, Old Man Gloom is going down in flames in disco style. The theme for this year is the 70s. So Old Man Gloom is dressed like John Travolta in the iconic movie Saturday Night Fever. The marionette's fingers are even trying to point to do the disco dance. People say the burning is almost like a cleanse, watching the evil item burn to ash, making way for a fresh start. I think it just takes all like the stress and all the problems away for a while because you're like not thinking about everything. All that's left is ash and the smell of smoke. It was a great show, but now people here are battling a new evil, the crowds, and getting out of the park. Back to you. Always part of, the event, of that event. Okay, thanks, Rachel. Well, next year's theme will be the 80s, and officials say they will start coming up with the ideas on how to dress up old man gloom for that decade.